Do you remember the Bumblebee Hoover Pure Power? Well, it is refurbished, it's been completely apart. Every single piece of plastic has been washed, every single wire has been wiped down, and we don't have much to do. We need to fit some belts and pretty much just check it still works, test it still runs, and see how well this once probably mid low range vacuum cleaner works now. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and yellow Hoover chums. How are you today? I bet if you have the right collection, you could have yellow pure power. Yellow Alpina, a yellow Turbo Power 2, all sorts of yellow machines from different eras. I reckon that would look quite cool. Um, I think it is the same shade of yellow as the Turbo Power 2. So that's quite nice. Yeah, we have our black wand leading in to the yellow mid frame. Haven't found a top cord hook yet, so we're not going to see that go on in this episode, I'm afraid. Um, there isn't anything here. Power on off switch. It is the very basicest of basic machines. Vacuum brush cleaned up nice. Look at that look. Oodles of length left on those bristles. Lovely job. And that sits then on the bottom so it clicks in one of the ways. Yeah, there we go. We have our little scabbard and our extension one and a long hose with, yeah, sadly that little bit of damage on it. But, I mean, it still works. It's still good enough. The hose is still nice and long, of course, with the pure power. And I highlighted this with the Enigma. You either have this really high up the hose, so it does grip onto the bottom, and then it works well. That is then when oh, you could use it as an upright machine. And yeah, this is how they expect you to use it. But of course, as we found out, if you have it so that it clips onto the bottom just perfectly so, it's then in completely the wrong place to be away on the machine when you want to use it. Yeah, that is where the little pure power isms do come from. But, bar that, we have our paper bag fitted, because I don't have any of the bags, so I'm sure the new owner will have plenty. We have our washed pre-motor filter refitted, that's got a good old scrub. And our rusty motor, which was a big surprise given how well this thing ran. If you remember in the before video, this thing sounded mint. And, well, it still does. There is a lot of airflow coming from this machine. I reckon it must have been stored in a flood, but luckily not turned on. So yeah, I've given the carbon brushes a bit of an exercise, airlined it out and wire wheels some of the rust off around the fan case, and utterly I've not heard such a wild well running pure power in ages. We do, however, need to do some stuff underneath, and that involves fitting these. Now being a pure power, we have our two screws at the back and I've already pulled the height control knob from the machine. Then the hood lifts off and yeah, inside of here is brand new or as brand new. We need to take the brush roll out anyway, so take this out and yeah, that spins perfectly fine. This is our little pulley and this is our most pulley. So. I don't know why they had it this way around to the beginning, two belts rather than one, but they did, so we have to fit two belts on. I don't quite know which is the best way to do it. I've never actually had a twin belt pure power. They've only ever been a single belt. Why did they have a twin belt pure power? How? Let me know down below. Oh, gosh, this is difficult. But I think I've done it. Oh. So, one belt is on one side. What the heck? This is evil, man. Then, 
This second belt has to go onto the brush roll somehow. Then onto this side of the pulley. It's a fixed pulley. It's literally just transferring from one belt to another for almost no reason at all. But equally, I might just not know. And then we're going to have to line up. Oh my goodness. Ow. These end caps, you watch it, look, we need seven arms. Oh. When there we go, I guess. Blimey. The most fattiest belt ever. I popped the little resealable cap off of the bearing of that and gave that a clean up as well. So, I mean, they're non genuine, but yeah, the whole generation, obviously, all of these machines are the same. It's, it's this bottom chassis and this sometimes, and they're on the whirlwind, and so it's just the bottom chassis. Yeah. I'm, Genuinely a hateful experience, and I'm glad they stopped doing it. Oh, but you go on. <gasps> oh, look, the little rubber, hateful rubber seals that sit underneath the hood are coming off. Right, let's get this back together, and then I think they're ready to do some vacuuming on the floor. And with everything back together and our belts fitted, let's see if they explode off in a hateful noise of burning rubber or if these things are going to run quite nicely I mean, I'm not their biggest fan. However, an early pure power like this, fully restored with every single rubber seal contacting everything as well as it can be to the point where the back door literally tries to implode itself with the airflow. It's pretty nice. It's even grooving this very difficult to please rug. It's a glorious sight. I mean, it's probably got the beginnings of a little bit of dust forming in there, but again, you can buy some really quite decent HEPA Flow Star bags for these now. So, if you see an earlier Pure Power like this, or the blue one, or the red one, or the green one, and you're interested, I cannot say don't, because they're not bad machines. Just be prepared to give it a full restoration. And this can now go back to its owner, who hasn't seen it yet. So I now get to pox it up and he can experience what a Hoover Pure Power probably would have been like when it came out of the box. And all just for a flipping good scrub and a set of really cheap new belts. Oh, there we go. And yeah, the cable just about hangs up there. That's not the most difficult thing in the world to find because most of the Pure Power handles were black. So that could be something for the new owner to do. He needs an upholstery tool and that's it. So, from this very lovely yellow Hoover Pure Power, I thank you very much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Do comment your yellow vacuum cleaners down below. And I and some other poor pitiful Pure Power will see you soon. Bye bye.